One of the great things about see-through AR is that, you know, the world around us is just amazing and it's really hard to replace that. The way I would describe a waveguide at its most basic level is a device that allows light to travel in a defined direction. The waveguide kind of acts as a sort of like light trap, keeps it stored, it keeps that image in there. It could be glass, it could be polymer. So the waveguide is both see-through so you can still see the world around you, but also has these nano patterns that allow you to see whatever digital content you're showing. And actually blend this content within the real world. Magically has really been at the forefront of see-through augmented reality. I'm Mike Miller. I'm a product manager in the hardware space focused on the waveguide, the projector, and the binocular assembly. A see-through AR is really looking through a transparent lens, just like you do with normal glasses. Through our innovative waveguide and projector technologies, we can actually position digital content in front of the eye on a transparent lens. The first time I saw it, I was uh, totally floored because it was it's like science fiction, honestly. My name is Ryan Ong, and I lead the Waveguide Materials R&D team. Magic Leap is bringing together materials expertise, processing expertise, equipment build expertise, as well as metrology and design. Here in Austin, we're really the uh, research and development site for waveguides. So every first waveguide within Magic Leap is born here. It takes a lot of disciplines. Half the building is PhDs. We all have different languages. Chemistry, physics, material science, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, optics. Magic Leap has a nano imprint technology that we've developed on our own. It's a jet and flash imprint lithography is what we call it. It's actually a 3D molding step. By understanding the precision placement of these patterns and our manufacturing processes, we're able to produce virtual content that provides very sharp blended imagery in a way that looks crisp and normal to the user. I've built machines since I was a kid. My dad's a mechanical engineer. I'm a mechanical engineer. I have good memories of building stuff together in the workshop. My name is Roy Patterson. I lead the hardware portion of the internal equipment team. Our scientists and optical engineers are pushing the frontier of optics. It's our job to enable and make manufacturable what they come up with really unique how integrated we are with our tool manufacturers. So it really allows us to be agile and responsive to improving things for yield or throughput just based off of the real life feedback from our manufacturing engineers. Nicole, take one. I'm a history buff. I'm waiting for like the time I can like walk through a temple and be like, I feel like I'm in ancient Egypt. <laughs> Hi. So my name is Nicole Zworski. I am a senior process engineer. It's a lot of fun being able to work with the designers and figuring out how can we make a design really come into life. A lot of equipment, especially for waveguides, is actually homegrown. We do all of the creation, the design, and innovate all this new equipment that's made specifically for waveguides. Our optics, they have to be small. And when they're small, alignments and precision become more important in the design. And the equipment needs to be able to make the small motions and tight alignments. We have this loop of continuous innovation as we develop processes and materials here. We do tens or hundreds of things in a prototype or an R&D phase. We then transfer these technologies to our manufacturing site in Florida so they can actually develop the final product and scale it up for manufacturing. We good? Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm Frank Stazeski. I am Vice President of Supply Chain and Manufacturing Operations here at Magic Leap. So our capabilities to manufacture at scale here, we can start from a raw glass wafer and go all the way through to create individual waveguides. We also have capability here to create optics assemblies. So really we can go from a request on paper all the way to prototypes and into production very, very quickly. Right now we are currently in the gowning room. My name is Franklin Wheelock. I'm the manufacturing manager for the eyepiece factory. What happens here now is we're coming to do photolithography on the wafers. Hi, I'm John Whiteman. I'm senior director of manufacturing operations. We have a mix of really smart engineers that all push the envelope 
and really try new things and learn from trying new things. Because we print on both sides, we had to create a mechanism that allows us to flip the wafer without causing damage to the imprint. These upward looking cameras that are doing inspection for particles also does metrology afterwards. Our failure analysis team is amazing. It's easy to break something. It's very hard to dig in and understand specifically what broke, then determine why it broke, and then correctly determine how to fix it. We need to do the analysis on the shape of the gratings, the height, the pitch. The scale is like 100 nanometer. From here to here is just 100 nanometer. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know why. Julie Frisch, take one. I'm Dr. Julie Frisch. I'm a senior research engineer here at Magic Leap. For a lot of the AR industry, most of the eyepieces you look at are made of glass. As we move to the future and look at what we can do, plastic is the way to go. It's lighter weight, it's lower cost, and it's a lot more durable. For everyday tasks, like looking at a text message, looking at a map, like you'll get everything you need in plastic. Given that polymer is at a lower cost and has an increased durability, it really opens the doors for more people to be able to experience augmented reality. One of the most exciting things about augmented reality to me is how it can help people. So I really see augmented reality really enhancing the way that we learn. Because the information won't just be at your fingertips, it will be at your eyeballs already. This is a technology that in the future should grow into so many areas of our daily life. To be able to wear glasses and bring in the power of AI. I think it's gonna like free up people's minds even more. So something that's totally intuitive, allows you to just experience the world with just that like extra flavor. Really, the opportunities are endless. It's one of those things where you really have to experience it to be able to truly understand just how far the technology has come and how amazing it is. I wake up every day and come here excited to see what the next step is. To be a small part in something that is so big and has so much potential for the future, I think I'm doing my, my little thing to, to something great. <laughs>